Hello guys, this is Caesar Creates, and welcome back to my channel! In today's episode of the Cretaceous Desert Park, we'll add a tiny, fluffy version of the T-Rex, and I am talking here, of course, about the Moros Intrepidus. This is one of the dinosaurs added to the game with the newest Malta expansion and I must say that I really like it. I like all of those dinosaurs from the new expansion but uh, there's something about the Moros Intrepidus that I really enjoy. Probably it's like a bit more cute appearance uh, and the fact that it is actually further dinosaur uh, and that it is so so tiny. So today we'll build a tiny enclosure for those guys. Uh, I really wanted to use the fact that in the latest update for the Jurassic World Evolution 2 they added many changes for those tiny dinosaurs and one of those is that they are not able to go through water uh, so we'll build sort of like a, a island for those guys uh, and surrounding it with the water and let me just tell you that uh, this is right now probably my favorite enclosure in the entire park. I just really love how it has turned out. So in the middle and the back of this uh, island we'll have a small like incline or a hill uh, just to make it look more interesting and to hide the fences that are behind this uh, hill. We'll also cover them with uh, some of the bigger desert rocks. Uh, so we'll have a higher fence in the back and in the front we'll still have a fence in the water even though they are not able to cross it. I just thought that, you know, even in real life zoos when you have, for example, monkeys and you have those moats around their islands or different kinds of enclosures, you still have this like electric fence, like this hot wire, just to be like 100% sure that they won't be able to escape. And so uh, this was my way of thinking to here. So just to be 100% sure uh, that those guys won't be able to escape, we will add this electric fence around it uh, and yeah we know that the Morus Intrepidus can kill a human is in this game so we don't want to risk that. So we'll add tons of different rocks to this island, we'll also add more of like a drier foliage with some of the palm trees uh, and then surround the whole like moat, the whole water section with the concrete fences uh, like near the path so the guests cannot fall into this water uh, and again uh, if someone from, from Frontier is watching please give us more of those tiny fences, it will be so so amazing to have a variation of, of that because I love to do this double fencing with them uh, for the guests not to be able to go too close to the uh, fences and um, being able to use different variations would be so so amazing. When it comes to the variations, as I told you guys, I always love when the smaller animals and smaller dinosaurs are added because we have this like huge variation of sizes in the game. And this is especially cool if you are building like a natural reserves park for your dinosaurs. So more in the style of building huge enclosures with really like mixed species. Uh, so if you add those tiny guys with, for example, uh, some of the ceratopsids, some of the sauropods, Throw, throw in some Struviomimus, for example, and an Iguanodon, and some Moros Intrepidus, or I don't know, Compies. You get this really nice roster of different kinds and different sizes of dinosaurs. So, uh, this is really, really nice. Uh, I am building more like in a zoo style. So, uh, we have like two or three uh, different species in one uh, habitat or only one. Uh, so, uh, I am normally not doing something like that, but maybe. Maybe in the future. Okay guys, so we are coming to the end of the speed build uh, part of this video. I will meet you in a second to talk more about this uh, island to show you guys it up close and also to talk more about the plans of our uh, series, what I want to build and uh, I will show you the park from above and talk more about the future. 
Welcome again guys, this time to the real-time part of this video. We are in the front of the habitat that we've just built uh, and we are this time in a first-person mode. I don't know why I stopped doing it, like those tours in the first-person mode. One of you actually like commented under my last video uh, that you miss it, uh, so why not? Why not go back? I probably just forgot <laughs> that I was doing those things in the first-person mode, so we definitely can go back to it. So th this is the place where we have the new Atrociraptor habitat uh, and on the other side we have the new Moros uh, Island as you guys can see. I really love it with this aviary in the back. I think it looks really really cool. Uh, you have all those uh, rock formations and you have those little guys. Oh one is here probably drinking the water uh, like living in here. Uh, they they are spending a lot of time here in the front, so it's so nice to see and uh, the guests can have really nice views for those guys. Uh, I really love how this habitat has turned out. I love uh, how uh, the water is so close to the barrier and uh, how those like uh, rock formations look. And the best part of it, I think, is the aviary behind. It looks so nice, like so zooish, uh, and uh, yeah, I really love it. Uh, so yeah, this is what I did. I didn't do too much of the decorations. Uh, I just do, did uh, this fence and I think it looks super effective. I don't know why the game is lagging right now, uh, but let's go uh, this way. In the back we can actually see our zip line. Uh, here is we are continuing next to our island and what i also wanted to tell you so i show you guys this that i finished sort of this part in here and now we have this like backstage stuff for uh, our big aviary so uh, if you'll go back maybe you can see it uh, in here we have some stuff uh, like backstage props and so on and this is how our uh, little island looks from the above. So yeah, I really, really love it. I must say that I am really happy with it. Uh, and yeah, it looks just as I want it. So let's maybe have a look at those little guys right now uh, just to show you guys how they are looking out close. Uh, so this is the frontier version of the Morus Intrepidus. Maybe let's go ahead and look at the other one. Oh, uh, this is the one that is not... Um, let me just pause for a second. Uh, I'll be back because I don't know why the game's lagging. Okay, it should be better now. I just uh, turned off some of those ultra something, uh, I don't know, uh, <laughs> settings and uh, now the game just runs smoothly. So this is the Moros Intrepidus, the movie version. I really love the, uh, like, this fluffiness, this, like, hair almost, but this feathers probably. I don't really know. Uh, but also what I like is this, like, rat tail. And it looks so, so nice. Uh, we have uh, some of those uh, from the movie. I think four of them. And also we have some of the Frontier skins. So this is the, mm, the green one. This is the mangrove forest. Uh, what we also have is another green one, but with some of the blue markings in here. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, this is the orange one. Really nice. I must think that I must say that I really like this one. Uh, and uh, like a reddish one. And uh, this one is probably like similar. And this is probably the last one, also green. So, uh, oh no, we also have this one. And we should, uh, I think we have the even number. So we have, should have 12 of them. No, we have 11. Okay, so those were our Morus Intrepidus uh, and their new uh, enclosure. So in case you wonder, this is how our parks looks like, park looks like, looks like right now. Uh, it's growing bigger and bigger. I love how uh, like lush it is almost becoming. I mean, we are building on the desert, but there's certainly a lot of green 
uh, things in it. Uh, and also, I love how the shapes that we are getting, like, it is not definitely not flat. Like, uh, we have those ditches with water, we have some heels and so on, so I am really happy about that. And what I wanted to show you guys is the map of the entire park. So this is basically how our park looks like right now. We have like more or less a half of the map or maybe a bit more like filled. The uh, only thing that we need to fill is here and in here. Uh, and yeah, this is basically it that I wanted to show you in today's episode. In here we have the new backstage area that we did last time. Uh, so here's the new uh, island for the Moros Intrepidus. Uh, the Atrociraptors living, are living in here. And yeah, in the next episode we'll probably build something in here. Uh, and we'll continue our work throughout this section. Uh, we'll have probably a, a path coming from through uh, the middle of it we'll have enclosures on both sides and of course we'll have the path that will be connecting to this so uh, the guests can do just a huge single circle going through uh, this park of course we still need to add more of the uh, different shops different restaurants and stuff like that because the guests are complaining a lot about this but yeah this will all this will all to be made in the future Okay guys, so this is all that I have for you today in today's episode. Uh, I hope you liked it. Uh, if you did, please consider to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, give this video a big thumbs up down below. If you enjoyed it, please uh, drop me down a nice comment down below. Those are really also, uh, those are always really appreciated. So uh, definitely definitely do that if you have some time. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching, have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!